Welcome back guys to Apollo Justice. Ace nothing in a weird sense because without a job after convicting his mentor, Christoph Gavin, Apollo is gone to the right talent agency, no longer a law office, to wonder how he can get back into his defense career. Instead, he finds himself sent on many an errand to find out who's performed a hit and run on Phoenix Wright himself, to find Trucy Wright, who's now going around with his panties, bit weird itself, and to find Mr. L. Dune's missing noodle cart. Not exactly the jobs he wants to sign up for, but we continue on as the People Park seems to have a commotion going on, of which a Detective Sky is here. A name we've heard before. Ah, Detective Sky, we're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Detective? Well, you're looking fancy, Dan, now, aren't you? Why is she wearing a lab coat? You hardly want to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not! Or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. Want a dose of experimental hy hydro trace? Let's try this. Hydrox Yasalonodocitrase. How would you say that quickly without knowing it like for probably Hydrozelin Selenodo Selenoido Selenodo Selenodo Citrase. What on earth is that? Can you please explain it in my terms? Come again? Indeed. What's hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Gah. How are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh, yes. That nice woman. <laughs> well, let's find out some more information from you, madame. Of course, Emma Sky doesn't know anything that's going on. As I say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one goes in. I just want a face full of hydroxy yada yada, what's it? Uh, no dice. Why are the police now threatening to put chemicals in my face? I do not know. Well, let's stop examining and talk first of all to a lady with a husky voice. Let's see if I can keep going with it. The weirdness of the Kataki's criminal family. Little Plum, that's a really cute name for someone so... Yes? Whoa! What is it, Trucy? What is it, Apollo, even? How about you go through me when talking to her? Okay, Trucy? Huh? It seems like a little bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. Oh, little girl. You should know. We're gangsters. Gangst- Oh, that means you're the bad guys! Trucy, through me, please! I'm begging you here! ha <laughs> The bad guys? I like the sound of that. I'm gonna need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. Well, I don't know how this voice is gonna keep going. But uh, if Trucy's here, we might just end up getting offed, sleeping with the fishes and all that jazz. Please, through me, filter yourself, Trucy. Filter yourself. Last night's accident, do you know anything? There was supposedly a car accident here last night. Last night? Of course, you wouldn't know about it. S sorry to bother you. Wait. Y yes You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away? That's my daddy. Ha <laughs> ha ha. I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point man. Capo? Point man? Um, could you avoid using too much, uh, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Bah. Cleaning up this paint? The splattered paint? Tell me about it. Though I don't think you're going to get rid of it with a brush. Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around 9 last night, I heard a crashing noise. I found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You, my husband, the boss, to thank for that. 
Colin hit your father and knocked over this paint. And turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see? I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Please, go for me when you want to! <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy! I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Um, yes. But we're community oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him! I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. That is just a pain on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Okay. Much to examine by the look of it. The people park, what's going on there? Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances too. You're kidding! What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house too? A crime without honor, without remorse. It's a private matter. Want to hear about it? Somehow, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. Right, a private matter. Let's hear about it for some reason. So, what happened to your house? Bloomers. Last night. Huh? I got a bad feeling about this. Someone stole more panties! Me, little plum Kitaki, the victim of a panty snatcher. What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen. Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? No, of course not. Mercy! I've heard word the panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy's and Miss Kataki's panties having much in common. I just imagine Miss Kataki's panties. Uh, I know, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you got me into this time, Trucy? Hello? That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, hello, m mother. She's a Kataki too? Uh, uh, miss, miss! Here, our flyer. The... Right Anything Agency? Uh, anything Agency? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice! Attorney? Drop by our office, we'll be waiting. Ah, goodbye. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know, she seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty, she doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. Well, you never know, to be honest, you never know. Right then. Let's let my impression of Husky go to the side here. Let's examine the paint itself. Paint splashed all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right. Fair. <laughs> and I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course. Then you can make them clean up their own mess. Ha ha ha! You're cute. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, you can better be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Oh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I bet you do. <laughs> I'd laugh if my teeth were chattering so hard. I do not know how this voice is going to go down. Right then, we've got the dragons over here. A brightly painted dragon. Well, I don't get the feeling he's glaring at me. Those paints must have been to repaint this wall. That's right. I called an artist to do the job right. He's the first so far. The third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. Second. 
on my kimono. So I... N no, don't tell me. It's better that I don't know. Sleeping with the fishes. Right. Looks like the car hit here. Did it? Wow, what a big house. And the gate is so big. The Vitaki family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox, it's so cute. Ah, that, that's our family crest from the old country. Your family crest? We're clever as the fox and our teeth are sharp. So it's like a motto. You need a crest too, Apollo. Oh, how about the scales of justice or a lunar lander? I'll pass, thanks. Well, it looks like it might have hit there. There's like bullet holes in the planters as well, which is quite crazy. Let's just leave Miss Kataki. I'll try to examine the bin. There's a big trash can on the way into the park. I guess we could check it out. Detective life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. What, huh? Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Wait, you don't think? I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off his mirror? I knew Daddy was so strong. I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? I don't know. I mean, obviously the mirror would make more sense, but we might want to put something back. Also, why do we have rooms in pockets now? And also, how can you fit a rear view mirror in a pocket? I can imagine you put two slippers in either pocket. That might fit. I don't want to take either, really. Let's take the mirror. Mirror slipped in the pocket. How? I don't have pockets that big. Men's trousers do not have pockets that big. The men's trousers are like way bigger than women's trousers in terms of pocket space. That's the thing, you know. See in the stand theft. Let's move on from here. To new. Why is it called new? Oh, dolls. New, new dolls. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. That, make, that probably makes sense now. So, what's this place? This should be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. Oh my goodness. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. A bowl? A dog? Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place, a hospital? There's a sign. Maractis Clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? Why do you snatch my panties? He ran into this clinic last night. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Ah, uh, there you are, Sonny. It's him again. Will you find anything yet? Uh, um, no, not yet. The longer you loaf around here, the stronger your victory bow gets. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. Right then, Mr. Eldoon. I've just realised there's a clinic here and they sound like hospital slippers. Maybe I should have put them in my pockets first of all. Do you know what? I'm even tempted to just move straight back and see if I can switch a Rui. What do you reckon? Oh, or we might be able to look in the garage for the Maractus Clinic and find everything linked up. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, first of all, let's speak to Mr. Eldoon again. See a stand? Eldoon's noodles, was it? Aye, passed down from father to son. A stand seen his share of salt. Mm-hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. But high blood pressure does too. So your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen. Oh, was it just a stand that was stolen, sonny boy? I lost his wobbly wheels, my salt crusted stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? Probably. But does he afford it? Can he? Are there any more details you give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy. It happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home well, right before 10pm I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for that late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. I went inside. 
When do you notice they've been stolen? Early this morning. Before the sun rose. Work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I wish I'm on the salty shores of Ruination. I stand up my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything? All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look, they're on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. Please, I'm under enough of pressure here as it is. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's a crying shame, that is. They have to steal, making my loincloth, not some pretty girl's panties. Ugh. The garage, right? You don't think the thief lives here, do you? Fah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past that good for nothing, doctor. Hmm? Do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Sure, let's go into the garage and check that out. Though, first of all, I want to see if I can pick up the bowl. Is this yours, Mr. Aldoon? Hey! And there's the heart and soul of Aldoon's noodles. A bowl absorbs by salty soup. Pretty soon it's going to taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away of my stand. Get it back from me, sonny boy. I'm begging you. The bowl's been added to the court record. The stuff we take a picture of rather than take with us. This dog doesn't look too healthy. Look, a doggy! Good boy, good boy. Salty! I'm sure the dog's the real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Name's Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get a bowl of salty broth this morning. Poor little thing. <laughs> Hold on, let's find that stand soon. For Spoon's sake. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. Probably not. Might be better than chocolate, I don't know. New! That's quite a sign. I take it that's new as opposed to old. Ah, you like it. Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles... Ran out of space. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Like for me, it spells a word all by itself. It spruces up my image, it does. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. Yes, and then there's a water runoff place. It looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Letting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious, but also kind of disgusting when it's being fed to people. I mean... Water runoff comes with like birds droppings and all that kind of moss and lichen and hopefully they at least boil it first if they can. I mean they got a kettle there, sure. Environmentally conscious but disgusting at the same time maybe. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles to make the broth do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money he could buy. Takes his business you know. Look that sign over there. Heldun only uses water from all natural sources. Ah! I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. Disgusting. What's this say? There's a handwritten sign here. Save the light. Save the light indeed. Mr. Elton's house is practically in the dark here. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity. Broth needs sun or it rots. What's a man to do? It's why customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. Uh, I think the main food poisoning problem is, uh, yeah, that, yeah, ugh, disgusting, ugh, ugh, I can't say any more than that, you know. Ooh, three shots for the price of one, but that's a medical place, looks like they have a special offer going on, three shots for the price of one, ooh, now's our chance Apollo, chance for what? I don't need any shots, thank you. Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business minded. You only need one flu shot. That door is sure is sparkly. The Maractus Clinic, eh? Looks more like a casino parlor than a hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today. Maybe. I don't understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Ah, sorry, miss. Not going to no going into the clinic today. We're not allowed in. Did something happen? Huh? Oh no, nothing to see here. Move along. We'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? We need a little more info on this miraculous clinic. 
We're gonna ask Mr. Eldoon. He's their neighbor and all. And we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? Uh. Right, you think he'll have more to speak about already? We do indeed. Let's check out that garage afterwards. Hey, do you think something happened next door? That's a police car out front. <laughs> Probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. Anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning? Our police car got it this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. <laughs> the wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. The wrong crowd. Is he under debt collection, maybe? Judging by the look of the gaudy exterior? That would be my first instinct and inclination. Golden bones? You're kidding me. But a kitty, too. Lovely kitty. This is the place. This is where that panic statue ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues to a panty snatching. Clues like a pair of panties. That's not clues. That's actually just done. Um, Trucy, could you try not saying panties so many times? Well, one, this thing's got a broken ring there. Two, there's a phone underneath the car. Three, there's a cat. So we'll examine that first. Yay! A kitty cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. It's so cute. It's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in a hat. I don't know about that. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Well, I wasn't looking at that, but uh, maybe I'll look at the panties. Or bloomers. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Indeed. Apparently, there was this car of a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow. I remember that case recorded whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's got to have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey! There's something in there. What? B wait a second. Are these your... Ah! My panties! What? Already? Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really. Don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. I must have a nose for finding Gil's panties. What the hell? Are these for your stage show? You're not wearing them, honestly, are you? A nose for finding girls' panties. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They come home to mama. I can't wait to use them. Yeah, you're gonna put them on? Now? Watch closely now. See? Nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa! Where'd that come from? How did that bulk get in your panties? My panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties? They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do. <laughs> Is that meant to be Wonder Bra? I don't know. Panties and Wonder Bra. I do shows <laughs> nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. I was being all male about it. Trucy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. Well, that's one case closed at least. What do you say? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. No, we're not because you've got not just this on the floor, but you've got something like the wing mirror too. This is the car. Look, the cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Right, we've got the cell phone. It's got a weird strap on it. And then, of course, this up there, which is interesting because it doesn't show on the actual main screen. It's like the pictures, are, you can see like on the bottom screen, the small screen, the picture's bigger than it is on the top, which is interesting, I find. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? 
Let's see. Show evidence. I think I do have just a clue you've got in mind. We have ourselves a mirror. Torn off the car that hit Mr. Wright was found in front of Kitaki Mansion. We can check it some more if we want to. Ooh, maybe we should check it. This yellow paint splodge also fits it at the scene of the crime. The wiring's been pulled out too. It's cut clean off. I wonder what's in there. Don't. There are bare wires hanging out. It's not attached to anything. Let's see. Zap. Eee! What? Uh, are you okay? Eee! Just a little joke. Don't scare me like that. You mean don't shock you? Zap. Hee hee. What? Uh, but it's not connected to anything with power. But anyway, this is what we're presenting. My clue is this. Ooh, music. Whoa, it's the same color, the size and everything. A perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something or someone. Well, looks like we just solved a case. So the car that hit Daddy's last night is sitting right in front of us, yep. Wow, you put the pro and professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo! Huh? What is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. He doesn't seem the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case worth reporting. Alright, well, we could go report it back to him, I guess. But this golden s skeleton needs examining, you know. Yeek, someone's there! Oh, it's just a gold painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton and painting gold? There's a mannequin in hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. Right, so we've got ourselves the information there. While we're at it though, we should probably check out this in case it's got any extra information. The phone strap itself has a watch. Look at this cute little watch, watch strap, watch strap, watch strap. I want one. It's kind of odd though. What is? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right. Sharp, Apollo. Thanks. Finally, some respect. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through the details, for one. They did drop their phone, after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. I kind of figured they were a bit weird anyway from uh, other factors. There's a camera phone too. Nothing else it seems at the moment. Interesting, but wouldn't you drop a phone or wouldn't you be a bit flustered after running someone over? I think that's the main point there. Well, supposedly we've got to go back to see Daddy. Excuse me, we're not allowed in anywhere because of police and all. Let's move to the Hickfield Clinic. I wondered if I should maybe have brought those, you know, slippers with me. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let's old Daddy-o get some well-deserved R&R. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. The enthusiasm is overwhelming. So we didn't actually find Mr. Eldoon's stuff at the moment, but we are getting through the other kind of stuff. The progress report. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Holly's amazing. He found my panties so quick. Oh, it's like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30 foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Ranactus Clinic, so you can really milk him for money, maybe. Hmm, Ranactus, huh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. It reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Ranactus Clinic anyway? All I've heard are the rumours. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. Um, 
the Kisaki family? He did that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They use the Maxis Clinic for their patch of jobs. Interesting. Okay, so links to organized crime. It looked like something had happened in that park. Ah, a body was found there in unusual circumstances. So more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your accident and um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! That leaves the noodle stand. Uh, feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. <sighs> right, back to the office to plan our next move. Well, becoming a pro bono attorney for the defense. You're such a good guy, Apollo. But we move on because we've still got to find ourselves a noodle card. No money first by the looks of it. But surely this leads to a deeper mystery. A murder is so nearby after all. What if we find links? Someone trying to escape a scene. Someone trying to do this and that. Sounds plausible. Let's find out next time on Apollo Justice. Ace Attorney. Bye-bye.